gratin savoyard, one of the best comfort food dish, a luxurious combination of scalloped potatoes, cream, garlic, and cheese. Pretty rich indeed. But hey, who gives a damn? Here, I'm gonna show you three ways to making this awesome dish. You'll pick the one you like. Hey, I am Bruno Albuz. Welcome to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. This is so... Okay, let's get to work. First, I'm going to peel my potatoes and then um, soak them in cold water to prevent from browning. Always purchase more potatoes than you need, just in case. Next, slice out potatoes using your mandolin. Mandolin is very useful for some vegetables and fruits, such as cucumber, zucchini, carrots, apples, and so on. And works very well with potatoes as well. Here is a couple of tricks to avoid injuries. So first of all, you never want to expose your fingertips too close to the blade. You want to hold firmly your potato. Then as you go and just about halfway through, open up your hand and continue to slice with minimum pressure. Let the blade do the job for you, no pressure. Though, if you don't picture yourself doing so, skip it and use the safety guard. Next, I'm gonna shred some Gruyere, Conte cheese, or you can even use Tom de Savoie. Let's make our first gratin savoyard using a cast iron dish. Grease with uh, butter or oil and line it with a piece of parchment paper and simply overlap potatoes. When you are done with the first layer, season with salt, pepper, garlic powder and nutmeg. Add some heavy cream and cheese. Repeat twice and top with parmigiano reggiano. You could also bring to a boil and let infuse heavy cream with with herbs, garlic, nutmeg, salt and pepper. Though you got to know how much heavy cream you're gonna use, otherwise you're gonna end up with some leftover. So I would guess that that method I'm using is the most convenient. It's gonna cook for about two hours, so it's gonna have time to infuse in the oven, so everything is going to mingle anyway. Then cover the dish with a microwave safe plastic wrap and aluminum foil and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius for one hour and a half. Then uncover, increase oven temperature to 450 Fahrenheit to 30 Celsius and cook for an additional 20 minutes. Gorgeous. So we are done with the first gratin. Let's do the second one using a baking tray instead or hotel pan. Same protocol. So what's great about that one is that it can be made in advance, refrigerated and cut into desired shapes. A profitable approach for restaurant, catering, parties and so on. Gratin Savoyard is without any doubt to die for by itself. But what about served with some bacon and sunny side up eggs, scrambled eggs? Oh, what about ratatouille, salad, stew, braising, steaks, poultry, you name it. Though since it's got some cheese, we should avoid seafood. So the last gratin we're gonna make, it's an upscale one. I would dare to say Michelin star dish. More time consuming for sure, but hey, no pain, no gain. So I'm gonna use a tart ring to build that one. So basically, you make potato coins out of potato slices and save scraps for another gratin or your next soup. So, to build that one, I'm gonna use clarified butter instead of heavy cream because I'm afraid that it may escape from the tart ring. But don't worry, I'm gonna drizzle some anyway once finished. Now you've got some awesome options for your next event. Please try this out, take a pic and tag me on Instagram at Bruno Albuz. Don't forget to subscribe to my cooking channel and website. Thank you again for your support. I hope guys you have enjoyed this beautiful dish. To get the full recipe and much more, take a look at my website at brunoalbuz.com. Bon appétit and see you soon.